Hey guys, are you here? And today we're back with another video. Funny enough, this is round number two recording this video because round number one, I forgot to unmute my mic. Unfortunate, unfortunate, unfortunate. 10 minutes of premium content that will never be seen on the internet because I had the mic muted. Hello, hello. And we're back. There it is. All right, two videos back to back where we're jumping in to Shadowlands content, guys. I'm excited about this, all right? We got two custom-made videos, not just stream clips. Shadowlands class updates just got announced April 7th, which is today. Uh, it was probably yesterday for you guys watching this, April 8th. But let's stop blabbing and let's start jumping into it. I'll have this link down below if you guys want to check it out. Shadowlands class updates. Can you guys believe it? This is surreal. Shadowlands. It's happening. It's real. In the last video, if you guys watch all of my uploads, if you don't, subscribe, turn on post notifications. If you do watch all of my uploads, in the last video we talked about mages are getting new abilities back. The unprune is indeed confirmed happening. In this update, we're going to now look at what we're actually getting back. Now, none of this is finalized, but I'm excited. It's like, I feel like a kid on Christmas morning and it's just like, what is it gonna be? What is it gonna be? You know, like I'm, I'm hoping for deep freeze. I'm hoping for deep freeze. I'm hoping for alter time. You know, I'm hoping for fun abilities, blazing speed, presence of mind, deep freeze, alter time. Those in my mind are a lot of really fun mage abilities, but whatever it is, it's down below on this page. All right, I can hear the comments. They're like, sorry, just, just scroll down. Just why are you blabbing on? Just scroll. Okay, I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. All right, I'll link this down below if you guys don't play a mage, but uh, assuming most people here want to see these mage changes. So boom, we clicked on the mage. Here it is. This is our Christmas present. Oh, mages manipulate many schools of magic, but focus their power on one in particular. I feel like an ASMR like stream right now. We feel it's important for every mage to have access to spells from the arcane fire and frost schools. <laughs> I wonder how funny that sounds, especially for utility purposes. Even if their damage rotation draws primarily from a single source and to support this, we're making more spells from all three schools class wide. In addition, we felt that the arcane mage damage rotation lacked a focal moment that results in a big payoff. As such, the combat rotation is undergoing a significant redesign that looks to add to this while retaining the overall flow and feel of spec. Okay, Arcane's being redesigned and we're getting three schools of magic. Okay, so initial thoughts just on that. I'm really excited. You know why? I'm really excited because in PvP, as a, say, Arcane Mage, it is not fun to cast a Polymorph for an Arcane Blast, get locked out, and then you can't cast that's like anything anymore. Like an arcane mage right now, you cast poly. I do this because my poly is scroll down. You cast poly, all right, that's what, that's what that means. All right, you get locked and you can't do anything else. That's really unfortunate, right? Like you can't do any damage, you can't do anything. You're just sitting there. Literally, you could go, you just leave your keyboard, all right? Don't even have to touch any, like that's not fun. All right, that's not fun. So now, as an arcane mage, you get locked, and someone's low, you can still fire blast them, or you know, whatever fire school they make available. You could still throw a frost bolt out. Now the frost bolt might not do much damage, but that's okay. You know, you're still doing something. You got locked, that sucks. That's your primary school. You didn't get to do what you wanted, but hey, I can cast a frost bolt. I can slow someone. I can fire blast and kill a totem. I can still be useful, even though I get locked out. This change is absolutely incredible. Blizzard, if you're watching, I don't know. Does Blizzard actually watch my videos? I don't know. The world may never know. But Blizzard, if you are watching, two thumbs up on that. That's like such a good change. I can't even like bold underline video over. I'm done. All right, that's it. Great job there. All right. Mages can now cast multiple spells of magic once again. Okay, let's get on with the video. Got a little too excited there. General changes. Arcane Explosion. <sighs> Fire Blast. Frostbolt and mirror images are once again available to all specializations. And Fireward and Frostward return to bolster mages' defensives. Incredible changes. Fireward and Frostward, guys, such great abilities for a high skill capped game. You're getting bursted, boom, Fireward. You're getting bursted, boom, Frostward. So, so, so fun in Classic WoW to be able to do that. Arcane Explosion, hit a rogue out. Oh, I can't wait. Fire Blast, so fun to play with. All right. Frostbolt. 
slowing someone. Even if you're fire, you can still frost bolt and slow someone. Even if you're frost, you can still arcane explosion and, and, and AOE someone out of stealth. This is going to make mage feel like mage again. It is so good they're doing this. Ah, oh. All right. All right. Now we can end the... I, I just said I wasn't going to talk about that, and I got excited all over again. In Alter Time. Also comes back from the past, allowing mages um, of all specs to show off their temporal mastery. When cast, this spell gives the mage the ability to turn back to their initial location with the same health of man after casting it. Woo! It's one of my all-time favorite mage abilities, Alter Time. All right. Alter Time bound to shift C. All right. It's what I bound it on. Love love uh, messing around with the Alter Time. Can't wait. I cannot wait for Alter Time to come back. Such a fun ability. Such a high skill cap. Really riveting gameplay coming from Alter Time. That's another thumbs up. All mages also learn a new talent, Focus Magic, which grants an ally, so not you, but someone else, a slight bonus to their spell critical hit chance. So kind of like a buff, I see. In addition, when the ally critical hits, the mage receives the same boon? Bonus, probably. Bonus for a short period of time. Okay, so that's like... Um, Rogue's old ability... Tricks of the trade. Focus magic is like tricks of the trade, kinda. But now mages have it. That's sick. Oh my gosh, I actually love that. I love utility on mage. That is fan-freaking-tastic. Another great change, all right? So before burst, we set up with a sheep. Boom, you got focus magic. I tell Peekaboo to run in. He runs in, gets the kidney. Gaga! Oh, it's gonna be great. This is gonna be great. I'm getting a little too excited here, guys. But this, is, oh, this is just good. This is just good. Arcane mages. All right, we're starting with arcane. Wild, untamed. Magic wends through the Shadowlands. Nazareth's most chaotic magic wielders can't wait to channel it. Clear casting now is an additional stack, rendering arcane mages even more capable of decimating their foes. Okay. Mastery Savant now extends its damage increasing properties beyond arcane blast and barrage to all spells. Wow, that's pretty good. Mastery's just insane now. Touch of the Magi moves. From its current place, it's a talent to a baseline arcane ability, allowing wielders to target an enemy that will take additional burst damage from all arcane spells and spread the damage to surrounding enemies. Huh. Once again, we'll have to see how this plays out, right? It's hard to say that's going to be OP or it's going to be good when we don't know how hard things are hitting. Sounds fun. Sounds good. Sounds like they're going to be overall just not such a um specialized class that might just be overall better maybe this means arcane will have a um, a broader place in arena who knows arcane dream mitch jones welcome back i don't know could be fun enlightened is a new talent that rewards mana management while the arcane mage's mana is above a certain threshold it empowers all arcane damage dealt by a moderate amount when below the threshold it significantly increases mana regen so you want to like stay in that nice juicy threshold cool sounds fun Give a thumbs up for that. Once again, hard to say. Um, they're just changing how some of these passives work, so we'll see. Fire. Fire. Fire mages now have more control over how they spread their ignite with a redesigned mastery. So before it just spreads to anything like wildfire. Fire blast now serves as the catalyst. So this is how it was back in Cataclysm. I wonder if they used the word catalyst on purpose because it was like that in Cataclysm, I think. Fire Blast now serves as the catalyst. When used against an enemy who is ignited, it spreads up to eight enemies. This is just how it used to be. I like it better. This is great. You can control your mastery. Fantastic, Blossard. Fantastic. Fire Mage's talents are also getting a few updates to help promote different play styles based on the situation they face. Blast Wave now does more damage, and an increased slow duration helps keep enemies at bay while melting their health away. Poggers. Love that. So Blast Wave is slow and more of a burst kind of how it was in vanilla versus right now it does absolutely nothing. So blast wave is a slow and burst. Mm. Meteor, blast wave, fire blast burst. Woo! It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. For mages who want to watch the world burn, the cooldown reduction provided by kindling is increased, allowing the mage to get their combustion back faster for more critical strike goodness. So that's more of a PvE thing. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe kindling's gonna be insane now. I don't know. The damage bonus that Pyroclasm grants is also being increased, making the reward for casting the next on instant Pyro Bass much more satisfying. So this might replace a greater Pyro, who knows? But we'll see. Maybe they remove G Pi and then Pyroclasm takes its place. I don't know. And the final one, guys. We got Frost. And a lot of people, I get this question multiple times every single day. Hey, Zaryu, why don't you play Frost anymore? And my answer to them is... 
frost doesn't burst anymore. It's not as fun as it used to be because it doesn't burst very hard. If frost has burst, I'll play frost. If frost doesn't have burst, I'll probably stick to fire, arcane, or some other spec that has more burst. And let's see what's going on. And let's see what's going on. With the addition of mirror images and alter time, frost mages will have some cool new, <laughs> cool, cool new abilities. I see what you did there, B. All right, all right, okay. We'll have some cool new abilities to weave into their gameplay. One of the more noticeable changes to Frost Mages in Shadowlands is the update to Flurry's Winter Chill debuff. Previously, Winter's Chill was tied to Flurry's movement speed, which created tight windows and required distance checks to achieve maximum damage bonuses. Moving into Shadowlands, Winter's Chill is now a much longer debuff that causes Frost Mages' next two spells to treat the target as frozen, a debuff that increased the critical hit chance from the Frost Mage and their allies against the target. Okay, so, hmm, no deep freeze. That's my initial thought. My initial thought is, oh, I really want a deep freeze, but, you know, Blizzard doesn't want to give us deep, like, there's, there's so much good that, like, maybe I can let it slide. There's so much good, I'm so happy about so much of this, that maybe we just let it slide, all right? Um, okay, fine. Blizzard, deep freeze, <sighs> think about it, all right? But I understand, I guess, maybe. This is okay. Um, if you, okay, if you can flurry to put a winner's chill and then get the two ice lances after that, that's like flurry might be big burst. What is still up in the air is how much damage is an ice lance doing? How much damage is a flurry doing? How much damage is a frostbolt doing, right? In Burning Crusade, if you frostbolt into an ice lance, it was like half of someone's life, right? 25% of someone's health from a crit frostbolt, 25% of someone's health from a crit ice lance. In current expansion, a frostbolt is 1% of someone's life, okay? And then ice lance is maybe 1 or 2% of someone's life. In the new expansion, this could be good if frostbolt was dealing 10 to 20% of people's lives, right? Because then you could get big bursts with flurry, ice lance, ice lance. Who knows? I don't know. Could be good, could be bad. I just in order for me to play frost guys like i already mentioned i want there to be big burst right now with fire mage you can one shot someone all right in the past with arcane one shot in the past with frost one shot i just want to be able to one shot if i can one shot i'll have fun if i can't one shot i'll probably play a spec that can one shot because i like one shotting that's what's fun for me in world of warcraft right um so cool i'm happy with that no deep freeze but so much good so much good, so much good. General changes, I'm happy with all this. I'm, I'm the most excited, just in general, to have more abilities back and to have um, multiple schools of magic as a mage once again so we can continue to cast, um, whether we're playing Arcane, Frost, or Fire, in all three schools. That is just insane, incredible, super stoked about it. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to slam the thumbs up button. If you did not enjoy the video, thumbs the video down. All right, that's okay too. Talk to me in the comments down below about what you guys want to see in the upcoming videos. All right, we got a lot of fun stuff in store for you guys. Hopefully get to play in the alpha in the next week or two. We'll see more changes coming. We'll be breaking them down here on the channel. If you want to stay locked in, hit that subscribe button and the bell and you'll be good to go. Also, guys, if you didn't know, we're working out here every day in the living room. When I say we, I mean Shannon and I, my girlfriend, we're doing workouts with your body weight, all right, or minimal at home equipment. So with a chair, with a stool, with a bag of rice, all right, every day on the live stream at 11 a.m. Since gyms are closed due to COVID-19, we're like, it would be fun if we just worked out with the community um, on Twitch every day. So on Twitch every day at 11 a.m., okay, except Sundays, we, we, just, we take Sundays off to just chill, all right? Except Sundays, I'll see you guys there on the channel. We'll be training, staying fit, all right? And if you guys don't want to tune in, check out the website, zaru.tv. There's also a link down below if you guys want to check it out. And over on the website, we have the entire body weight program we're doing with progressions, all that kind of stuff. Go check it out, go give it some love. And I think I'm rambling. I think that's the end of the video. GG's. See you guys in the next upload. Peace.